Carmel Rickenbach. I'm one of the registered dietitians here at the YMCA of the Brandywine Valley. And welcome to our third video in our three-part holiday wellness series, The Hunger and Fullness Scale. During the holidays, we spend so much time socializing at events that focus on food that we don't really pay attention to how we feel and when we should stop eating. Buffets and bowls of candy that are left sitting around don't make it any easier for us either. So I'm suggesting that we practice being a little bit more mindful about how we feel before we decide what to put in our mouths. One tool that I use with my clients is called the Hunger and Fullness Scale. And this scale, which describes on a scale of 1 to 10 how hungry or how full you are, actually helps my clients to become more aware, more mindful of how they're feeling before they decide to eat or not to eat. So at a one on the hunger and fullness scale, you might be feeling ravenous. It might be a long time since you last ate and you're feeling weak and irritable and headachy. The other end of the scale, a number 10, indicates that you've eaten so much that you feel uncomfortable, stuffed. And so a number five then would be neutral. You're neither too hungry nor you're too full. What I teach my clients is to eat at about a level three, where you're feeling hungry, you're starting to think about food, but you could wait a little bit longer. If you do wait longer and you get to a two, you're a little too hungry, and that might make it a little bit more difficult to make good decisions. Then I also recommend that they stop eating when they're at about a six or a seven. And what that feels like is I could eat more, but I don't need to eat more. And so just practicing this hunger and fullness scale can really help you get a hold of that holiday eating and avoid the excess 8 or 10 pounds that's common among people around the holiday season. So thanks so much for joining me today and have a happy and healthy holiday from the YMCA of the Brandywine Valley.